Hey, it's Tom from Tom's Tunes. This is a quick tip when we are redecking a boat and we're gonna use the old boards to make the same cutouts for the front piece and for the stern board where the motor sits. This tip will work for an eight foot wide boat as well as an eight and a half. What we are actually working with here is a early 2000s Crest. It is an eight and a half foot wide boat on paper. We'll get there in a second. I have my farthest stern board. This is the board right in front of the engine and we're gonna be reusing all of the deck trim on this boat. So I need to make the same cutout that was in front of the motor so I can reuse the deck trim and make everything fit up nicely after I've installed my new boards and vinyl. On this, I lay my new board upside down and then I'm laying the carpet down against that new board. So when I flip everything back over, it's the same. And I just stencil this out and trace it with a pencil. And then I'm gonna cut it with the circular saw. We're gonna try to make it exact as possible. And then I can always go around. A lot of times your corners are gonna be knocked off for the corner caps. We can do that after the fact. I don't worry about doing that quite yet. On the bow piece, a lot of times it's going to be a shorter board or even on this one, this is a four by eight sheet underneath, four by eight and a half. And this, you can tell, is about six or eight inches short. So this last board is a little shorter. And I'm going to cut that as well. And I'm going to keep the factory end of my new board going forward to line up with the next board so I get a nice clean seam. I've never worked with an eight foot wide boat that measures actually shorter than an eight foot board. However, on an eight and a half foot boat, really important to measure your plywood you're taking off because in this case, even though this boat is on paper eight and a half, 102 is eight and a half. It's more like 101 and a half, maybe 101 and nine sixteenths. So it's just a little bit of an odd length likely did that so that it would be legally trailerable at eight and a half feet who knows but that means i am gonna have to knock off that half inch on every single board that i'm laying if i don't do that my deck trim is not going to line back up and everything is not going to seat back up where it was from the factory something you can decide on but in this case i go ahead and i recreate this at 101 and a half instead of going all the way to 102, which is true eight and a half. A lot of boats, they are right to eight and a half, full 102 sheet. Some are even a hundred inches, believe it or not. So measure your boards before you start installing them. Big help there, hopefully save you a headache. I'm gonna get to work on this, but wanted to share that tip with tracing. I would trace my front corners and front piece just the same, especially if they're a wider radius for the corner cap. That is going to make your job a lot easier when we're putting everything back together. Here is the front board off that same boat. Again, I'm gonna to have to cut a half inch off the side, but this uses a specific curve to match the deck trim. Ignore this, it's Crest always did this. They beefed up their corners, just help protect that corner cap. But we'll cut this curve and that will help match the deck trim in the front. It's really particular on this one. So we'll make sure we match that and cut it with a jigsaw on this one. The rest of the boards, we'll just measure a half inch, rip that off and away we go. But you might do this on an eight foot wide boat as well. If you are mimicking the exact corner caps and deck trim, if you're using all new deck trim and corner caps, run it all square, maybe make your cut around the motor if you need to. And then you can make your cuts with the vinyl on. You can cut it with the jigsaw, no problem. Doesn't fray or anything. You'll be just fine that way to make your corner caps fit how you want them. Those are the things that when you take the time to set up before you redeck your boat, you make your cuts mirrored off of your old ones or stenciled off of your old boards, 
you get everything to line right back up and fit. This is the bow piece where we cut that radius to fit this unique deck trim. The corner cap is in, integrated right into it. And if we look at the back, let's take a look at the transom area and show you how that all fit up too. We're able to reuse all of this deck trim, save a whole bunch of money and make it fit up just like it did on the factory boat. Sometimes on your project, it's unavoidable, but when you can save money by reusing your deck trim and making everything fit back up, that's a plus. It's more money you can spend on, I don't know, things like margaritas. Yeah. Or seats, electrical, that kind of fun stuff too. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Margaritas for sure confirm no cavitation. Correct? The number one, according to Corey, way to solve cavitation issues is Mas margaritas. This is Corey's tips for cavitation. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs>